Hi all, my name is Jason and I'm a local realtor here in um, you know, Duval County and, and all the other surrounding counties. I'm also an appraiser. Um, I just wanted to uh, make this video to say that, you know, in these, in this time of, uh, you know, in the real estate market with the interest rates being um, higher than uh, nor, or, you know, than we're used to uh, these previous, you know, couple years, um, you know, it, it seems to be very difficult for most to kind to, to kind of think of creative ways to be able to, you know, survive this injury, especially, you know, in the profession as a realtor, because, um, you know, the market's a lot more, uh, it, it's a lot tougher, uh, in a sense. Um, and I think the type of person that you want as a realtor is one that um, can kind of think of outside the box, one that is, um, you know, more experienced in understanding, uh, you know, loan options, in addition to, uh, you know, understanding those options about loans, in addition to knowing uh, when specific options apply and when they do not apply. Um, myself, um, you know, I, I've got an undergrad degree in finance, so I'm a little bit, you know, more educated than just, you know, having a real estate license. Um, and then, like I said, I have an appraiser license as well. So I understand values, um, I would say, uh, pretty well, which, you know, the value as an appraiser doesn't necessarily mean that uh, something's going to sell for as much as, you know, it, it appraises for because it all depends on the market. And in these times with uh, the higher interest rates, that's definitely, um, you know, apparent that, uh, you know, an appraisal value is not what it's going to sell for. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a lot more competitive. Um, it's a, you know, turning into a buyer's market, if not already. Um, and uh, I think in order to sell your home, you have to have someone with a lot of, uh, a lot of drive, um, a lot of, uh, you know, um, thinking outside the box, doing things that, you know, normally would be uncomfortable for an agent to do, or, you know, is, is more work than they're normally used to. So, um, you know, me as an agent, um, if I, you know, let's say if I was your buyer's agent, well, you know, I'm finding resources that, you know, you wouldn't even find on, you know, the, uh, the MLS, uh, you know, options off market, um, you know, so that may be um, a better option, um, you know, for you and you may be able to get a better price uh, <clears throat> because there's not, you know, there's not as much competition. I know that it's a buyer's market, but still, um, you know, once something is published to the MLS, uh, regardless, more people see it and uh, it's got a little bit more, um, you know, publicity for others to consider uh, their options, even though it is a buyer's market, as mentioned before. Um, but as a real estate agent, um, you know, being able to have that capability of finding those additional options as well is, uh, you know, important. And then understanding, you know, uh, there are op other options such as uh, to be able to purchase the home. Um, maybe you, you would sell or finance um, if, you know, some people understand what that is, some people don't. But with the uh, current interest rates, that's a big uh, opportunity for a lot of buyers because you do not, um, you know, a lot of them, you know, in addition to myself, don't want to pay higher interest rates. I'm sure you do not either. Um, but a lot of people, um, you know, previously took out loans that were a lot less. And then if the equity in their home is no longer there, um, they may um, consider um, doing either, you know, seller financing at a lower interest rate, or maybe you would um, assume the loan um, that they have on their home. Uh, just because, you know, selling their home, um, you know, they're still going to be underwater. They're going to they're gonna have to sell it for less of a price um, if they need to sell it. So they're, they're you know, in, I say in the times of disaster, um, there always are, you know, great opportunities. Um, and this is one that, you know, I understand very well and, um, you know, know that there's opportunity in the market for uh, that type of purchase. 
Uh, and then it can be, you know, it can be very lucrative because you have less closing costs. Um, you know, you're not dealing with the bank, you're dealing with the, with the person um, and you're, you know, either, like I said, they are the bank, the seller's the bank, or uh, you may be just paying their loan off, which you're not, you need to pay all the origination fees and um, all the costs that a lender would normally uh, have at, at the closing table. So um, that is just one, that's just one example. Um, but, uh, you know, in this market as well, like you have to have uh, someone that understands uh, the way to market uh, property uh, correctly. Pricing uh, the property is going to be so critical um, in this type of market because, um, you know, the prices are kind of trickling down, especially with interest rates being higher. So the cost of money is a lot higher. And so if you if you're not pricing the home right and be able to sell the home, um, you know, in a timely fashion, then if the market gets, you know, a little bit worse, then you're, you would have to basically, uh, you know, substitute even a lower price. So that's why, um, you know, it's critical to price that home right, because then you may be, you know, having to, uh, you know, sell it for even lower price because, you did not uh, have the right price in the first place. And now you're just chasing that uh, price where you can sell it. Um, and, and, you know, I've seen that, you know, with other agents experience of that in, a, in the market and, and with their sales and everything. So, um, you know, I just want to make this video because I <clears throat> think it's important that you have um, a real estate agent that has um, a lot of different skill sets um, in this market. Um, you know, it's even you know, it, it's good to have it any time, but especially uh, with what we're going through right now um, and understanding like different finance options, as I mentioned before, and all the other programs, um, you know, say if you're a first time home buyer, uh, you have a lot of different um, opportunities there, um, even at the local like county level. So, you know, I'm very familiar with all those uh, different opportunities and I work with loan officers that understand those. And sometimes, you know, I understand them just as much as they do um, and how they apply and how you could qualify for them. So I kind of um, am able to uh, foresee what type of opportunity you would be um, eligible for uh, without wasting your time going to the loan officer and going through all the, um, you know, criteria to qualify it. Because uh, I would understand if you qualified and if you did qualify, and say the loan officer that, uh, you know, you were using said you didn't qualify. Well, then, you know, sometimes that's just the actual loan officer that's saying that because they have different criteria themselves, depending on um, what their criteria is at the time. That doesn't mean that you would not qualify somewhere else to another lender. Um, so if you know the underlying uh, guidelines to those types of options, it's, uh, you know, to your benefit because you know you could go somewhere else and ask specific questions in order to qualify for that special program you know so let's you know give an example so the uh hometown heroes program well you know there's certain occupations that apply to it so you know if you know that occupation then you know you you would qualify um and then uh you know also there's certain criteria within the within the guidelines of um your debt to uh debt to income level um, and then, uh, you know, certain, uh, you know, of course, income qualifications as if with any loan, but those certain types of criteria can vary per lender. So, but if you know what the underlying criteria is for that type of loan, then you can kind of assess whether the lender is putting their own restrictions on that type of opportunity for you to be able to uh, use that opportunity to purchase the home. So let's say, uh, you know, that I know the guideline for uh, the, the credit score is 620. Okay. Well, uh, that's what the, what the, what the criteria for the underwriting says for that type of um, assistance that's uh, a government um, provided assistance. Well, if you go to a lender and then they say, oh, well, you know, you need a 660. Well, right there, there's a variation between, okay, I read the guidelines, 
the guideline stays at 620, the lender stays at 660. Well, that lender potentially has put an, or most likely has put an overlay on there to meet their criteria, what kind of candidates they will qualify for that program. But, you know, the guidelines do allow you with a 620 to be able to qualify. So you may go to another lender that you know that will qualify you with a 620. So then you can still qualify for that, you know, let's say it's a hometown heroes program, for example, and that's $25,000 towards your closing cost. Well, if you didn't know that, you would just kind of take the assumption of your, you know, original lender and say, oh, I just don't qualify. And so I've got to kind of uh, use something else. But, you know, for me, I, under I understand and I can kind of guide you to say, hey, no, let's go this route. Let's 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 uh, ask a couple other um, lenders what their criteria is and say they have that um, the same guideline as the program is written. Well, then you would qualify. So, um, you know, those are just little, those are, that, those are huge things that, um, you know, I really like try to um, give my customers and really understand, um, you know, those little intricacies because they can make a whole lot of difference in purchasing a home. Um, you know, and another good example is like seller concessions. So there's so much seller concessions that you, you can get per what type of loan, loan you're getting. And so that criteria, um, you know, could be overlaid with something else from a lender that's providing the seller concessions to say, oh, well, it can only be this percentage. But if I know the underlying guidelines, um, you know, of the government saying that you're allowed this, then um, maybe I'll go to this other lender and they'll say, oh, yeah, well, we can do exactly what the guidelines say of the government. So, um you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket and kind of, you know, shop around and kind of figure that out. Um, and normally, you know, I know the lenders that um, you can get the most, you know, bang for your buck. Um, and, you know, I found that to be a huge advantage to uh, making sure that, you know, my <laughs> clients are very happy with their purchases because they're able to actually purchase things that they never thought they could that, you know, maybe other people were deterring them because they didn't know that, well, one lender may say this, but another lender may say this. It's not that they're all the same because, you know, they may have uh, things that are overwritten per the normal guidelines of that loan. And, um, you know, having that knowledge and expertise to kind of help you out, um, you know, I'm able to kind of guide you on that end in addition to um, the sales to negotiate you know, a good price for the home and also um, ability to find those homes for you um, with different, uh, you know, activities and tools that I have that um, possibly other realtors are not utilizing. Um, so anyways, uh, I just want to share this video and kind of give you a little bit of information about, you know, some of the benefits to working with me um, and things that I kind of try to provide my clients um, that would be a huge benefit for uh for them or for you um and um if you have any questions please uh reach out to me um my name is jason crow um my email's uh crow home so c-r-o-w-e-h-o-m-e-05 -E at gmail.com um or you can call or text me at 352-220-2728 thank you very much